Hello everyone, my name is Cam and welcome back to another episode of Pez News. Hope you are all doing okay. Apologies for the lack of updates, I have been away for a few days enjoying the sunshine. But let's get back into the swing of things by updating you on the latest ongoings for Pez. So for the past couple of months we have known that AC Milan and Inter Milan will no longer be with Pez. And the announcement of both teams going to EA was only a matter of time of the announcement becoming official. And today it was announced that both AC Milan and Inter Milan are exclusive to EA Sports, both on long-term contracts, which will be three years minimum and potentially longer. So with that confirmed from EA, it confirms that the licensing war will not stop. As the Serie A league license does not guarantee teams, it means that clubs from Italy's first division can be snapped up exclusively. And with the loss of both Milan clubs, it seems that Konami are already swooping up the chance to take another club back from the grasps of EA and that team is AS Roma. EA has confirmed on their website that their partnership with AS Roma has ended and that they will be rebranded in FIFA as Roma FC. So just like last year when Juventus became Pimante Calcio, this year AS Roma will be called Roma FC. So you can certainly say that Pez are ramping up their involvement in making sure that if licenses are lost that they will be replaced. At this moment in time, there is no word on the Stadio Olimpico being exclusive to Pez. Next, we move on to gameplay. Now, despite in a recent interview, it was confirmed that gameplay will be 99.9% .9 the same, which is true, because they are using Pez 2020 as the base for Pez 2021. So it was confirmed in an interview that Pez 2021 will come with gameplay improvements. This was confirmed by Robbie Ron, but despite him saying that improvements were coming, he doesn't actually know what is coming. If you want to go to this interview, I will leave a link in the description below. You will have to watch it with annotations on, because the interview is in Spanish. So thank you all for watching today's short episode of Pez News. And just to add, before we end the video, as much as the licensing war continues between EA and Konami, I can't help but feel for the fans of both franchises. Yes, EA did start the license war years ago and they still are ramping up their licenses by making the uh, Premier League and La Liga both on like long-term deals so Pez can't get their hands on them. But every year it's always about one company upping each other. I must say it sucks but business is business and we move on with or without the biggest clubs. It's just a shame that every year it's always the fans that are seeming to be losing out, whether if you are a fan of Pez or FIFA. Anyway, if you want the latest news, rumours, speculation on Pro Evolution Soccer, considering subscribing to the channel. And if you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like as it lets me know you enjoyed today's episode. Anyway, my name is Cam, stay safe and I will see you all in the next one.